Hi, uh, welcome to the second play along video. Um, first of all, I kind of want to apologize for being a week late. I was on vacation. Uh, secondly, uh, I apologize my brain is a little bit slow right now because I'm, first of all, post uh, second dose, uh, so I'm a little bit daisy from that. And uh, secondly, um, I just don't get done playing co op with some really difficult locations, so I'm a little bit uh, mentally spent, but I'll still, still try to. Uh, do my best. Okay, so today we are playing uh, an improved world, uh, no moving, uh, Latin America, no moving, and a devil's world with three minutes per round. So yeah, let's let's just jump into it. I am recording, right? Oh, okay. So what do we have? Uh, this is uh, Tunisia. Uh, we have obviously, I think at this point a lot of most people know Tunisia. Uh, wait, is it Tunisia actually? No, it is not Tunisia, but it was just my immediate instinct because I saw like these trees. Um, they are usually uh, they are usually uh, olive trees though, but you, you do have this kind of patchwork of trees and dry land and like uh, the SUEs and the and and the a double white line. This is the UAE. <laughs> uh, well, it's kind of embarrassing, but uh, first impressions can lie. Yeah, I was I was looking at this flag and like, wait, that's not that's not a Tunisian flag. Uh, yeah, so we are in the UAE. Uh, very patriotic people. Um, I was kind of uh, kind of talking and I didn't really look where I was going. So uh, it's pretty it's pretty flat out here. So probably not uh, not here by like Fujaira. Um, I'll have to go like in between Sharjah and Dubai and kind of hope I get close. There it is. Oh no. Uh, Nobody and Giovanni getting very very close. Yeah, yeah. I should I should have kind of uh, I should have looked at the roller edition instead of bubbling on, but uh, I did I did make that initial mistake with Tunisia. So anyway, uh, let's go. Let's move on. Round two, we do have Czechia. Uh, doesn't say anything useful. Dobra, Volka. Uh, hmm. Nothing out here. Oh, what a no! That's uh, that's just a hospital. Hmm. I really wish I could recognize this or have like a. To probably okay. Hmm. I'm really not sure here. Um. Okay. What would KB, it could be Colleen. Colleen definitely has a hospital. But that's to the south. Uh, that's to the south of the road. It doesn't. F oh, it actually does kind of fit. Nope, it's Rognitz and Atlanta. Well, I don't know what the K stood for. Hmm, interesting. Anyhow, let's move on. Okay, now we are in Bulgaria. Uh, we've got the depressing uh, winter look, and I think I'm wrong again because, uh, yeah, I think I, I am wrong again because this actually might be Turkey. I am, yeah, yeah it, is, it is Turkey, it is Turkey. Yeah, Bulgaria, Bulgaria and Turkey can be very similar because obviously they have the uh, shared Ottoman past. However, uh, Turkish buildings look uh, generally like taller. They still have, still have these like tent like red roofs and these kind of triple divided windows um, and this, this kind of rocky style but uh, yeah this is indeed Turkey I kind of think this might be like just uh, just European Turkey hmm but it, it, it might be it, it might just be like inland because it, look, it looks kind of dry and dusty uh, we'll see I, I, I'm kind of predicting it might be yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, it is, it is pretty inland. Um, if you take a, take another look at it. Um, yeah, like compared to Bulgaria, obviously it's it's like not as wintry. Uh, Bulgaria is like usually has like bits of uh, bits of snow on the ground, and also these buildings. Like if you look in these windows, this kind of this kind of like dividers. Uh, these are like, like typical for Turkey. As you can see, they're they're like pretty big, um, like bigger than you would see in Bulgaria, which are usually like one or two stories at most. Um, also here, these are like uh, water tanks. Uh, that's something you don't really see in Bulgaria. It's more more of a like a Mediterranean thing. It's not really seen in Greece or like 
suddenly. Yeah, interesting one. But it, it it can definitely throw you off. Like 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 definitely when when I spawned in, I fought Bulgaria first, and then I kind of start, started looking around. Okay, not doing great, the greatest so far. Uh, okay, now we have Japan. We are again very low, uh, low cam, uh, as it's called. Uh, we get gorgeous autumn coverage. Uh, we got these kind of fluffy trees, as I, as I call them, uh, everywhere, which are basically unique to Japan. You can you can see them in on like the Azori Islands, but it's mostly Japan. Uh, unfortunately, they do grow pretty much everywhere. So. Uh... In my in my experience, you do see the, like big forests of these of these trees, uh, mostly like south-ish, uh, like in this in this sort of area. Uh, also, it's not it's not huge mountains, so I wouldn't say it, we're like uh, around here like Gifu, Nagano, and Guna, Gunma. Uh, so I venture we are somewhere in this area, but Japan Japan is always tough. Uh, like you have uh, you have uh, Hokkaido, which is pretty easily identifiable. Uh, Okay, now which is really easily identifiable, but the main islands themselves can be a little tricky. Yeah, we're sort of selfish indeed, but a little bit more to the east. Anyway, let's move on. And number five, we are getting kind of screwed up this time. Uh, we are in Israel. Uh, we have the yellow plates, we have uh, yellow lines on the side. And it's very, very dry here, so it's actually. Hmm, okay, we have. We have Big greenhouses to the west. It looks dry enough to be Palestine. Uh, like, I think it might be like somewhere down here in this area, because you you, you transfer into uh, outright desert down here. Whereas if you go north, uh, it, it's kind of more like uh, like the arid hills. It's it, it's it's not quite this dry generally. Mm. Also, there are there are greenhouses along the along the coast of the uh, Dead Sea and the Jordan, uh, sort of the Jordan River. I think if you had a lot of time, you could have pinpointed this, but I don't. I don't have time. Oh, if we got camels, nice. Yeah, just a bit further north. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Generally, like uh, the hills, sort of towards the Mediterranean, look a little bit more. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say lush, but a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, they have a little bit more vegetation, like like shrubbery or, or olive trees, something like that. And as you go as you go east and south, it turns into, into outdoor desert. Like the hills out in Jordan uh, are, are are a lot seem a lot drier. Um, yeah. Although I, I did expect it to be a little, a little more south. I, 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 I was expecting this bit to look a little bit more like shrubbery, but I guess it is it is like this kind of deserty uh, uh, basin between the, the hills around Amman and the hills of uh, Palestine. Cool. So that's it. That's 23, 5, uh, 5 to 9. Pretty easy seed, honestly. Uh, quite straightforward in each, uh, like in the country in each route. Uh, I really wonder if I missed something there that I should have seen as a check, but I don't know. Uh, obviously, embarrassing first impressions in the UAE and uh, in Turkey, but what can you do? Okay, let's see those high scores. Uh, Giovanni in first, uh, GG's. Oh, Radu, I beat Radu, oh my god, uh, I'm so proud. Um, then we have Caesar, Red Pork, Morka, uh, hi Morka. Bus stop, SketchUp, Onion, Iman, Kriegsmeister, uh, Diabolist, Fotuki, Nobody, Dutch, uh, Indy, Paleo, EC, Taisto, Aristan, Yankee, Control, Honk, Salex, IBM, wow, that's a lot of people, Mephias, Gabriel, Chirip, Tobias, Nicola, J. Gustav, Maxime, Jessica, Randy, DZ, uh, DZ and Sisu. Very, very high scores all around, GG's. Also came down to uh, very very good in the country. Yeah, nice. So it was uh, uh, that was game one. Now we move on to uh, Latin America, which is going to be interesting. Uh, not the best in Latin America, I'll be the first to admit. Uh, however, I've practiced some, uh, but that was that was a while ago. So I'll see what I can remember. Let's go. Uh, okay, we uh, appear to be in, I think either Peru or uh, Bolivia. Uh, 
Med die appenta para viver. Een patroon. There are no striped uh, poles on this uh, on this pole here, so I don't think it's Peru. I think it just might just be. Uh, I think it just might just be Bolivia. Also, uh, Uchu, Uchu Kachua. Uh, let's see if this Uchua Kachua. Uh, uh, I'm picturing that uh, somewhere in La Paz, uh, because I've definitely seen these mountains like in this sort of area. Uchua Kachua. I might obviously be completely wrong, and there's just a stripe plus pole somewhere in Peru, but... Uh, I don't know, mm. Yeah, yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I think it's gonna be... Either Colombia or Southern Peru. Yeah, oh. It's just Peru, okay. And Radu and Chivani and Hong Kong knew where it was. Yeah, GG's Uchua Kachua. Yeah, I guess it was just, those were just stripe plus poles. I think I think Peru and Bolivia kind of give me give me a lot of trouble um, in in certain areas if if you don't have like clear meta. Was it some was there something here that said Peru and I'm just blind and dumb? Very possible. Oh, CIA. Um, like Uchua Chua, that does sound very Peruvian, but you can sometimes see like uh, like Inca or uh, inspired names in Bolivia as well. I've definitely seen like similar looking mountains close to La Paz, so that's kind of threw me off here. And oh yeah, now now I see now I see that uh, this this pole is actually a little bit striped that's just worn off. Yeah, it 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 is striped. That's just mm. yeah. I definitely should have seen that. Yeah, no, that would have made Peru obvious. Mm. Well, nevertheless, uh, we'll move on. Unfortunate. Okay, now we got a now we get a uh, now we get a uh, Guatemala car, and we are moving uh, east to west in kind of a valley. Uh, there's a there's a lot of a uh, lot of areas to choose from here. Uh, it looks it is it, it looks kind of flat, which is interesting. Uh, so I don't think it's like immediately around uh, Guatemala City, which is more, uh, which is a little bit more hilly. Um, this goes pretty much east-west. I don't think it's this is this road. Could it be like here because this this, this looks pretty uh, pretty. Uh, it looks pretty pretty uh, flat. It could be closer to the coast as well. You know, I think that area is, it looks a little bit more dry. Let's see. Oh yeah, it it is closer to the coast. Once again, Giovanni basically been pointing. It. God, these guys 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 are insane. Yeah, yeah. Not, but once you once you see the car, there's not much to think about here except look for the correct uh, uh look for the correct uh, orientation of the road, which I've done a poor poor job at. But once again, if I if I had like three minutes, I might have gotten there. But oh. Yeah, this looks a little bit more hilly now in hindsight, but it got some more. Oh, super super red! Wow. Um, okay, extremely red. Uh, we also have these trees. I don't know what they're called, but uh, they are very common in like southern Brazil, uh, Uruguay to some extent, and to some extent northern uh, Argentina, especially the uh, especially this region here, Misiones. So I definitely think we are somewhere around there. Um, yeah, and we have very very aggressively red soil like that, sort of in this area of Brazil and and in Misiones. Uh, I don't really wager guess when this might be exactly. I'm honestly gonna do a coward's hedge in northern Misiones and see what it takes me, because Misiones does have like a very aggressively red uh, soil sometimes. But I mean, it is it is South America, so you never know. Uh, we'll we'll see where it actually ends up being. Yeah, it is Misiones, cool. Yeah, yeah, Misiones is like a very very distinct looking. It's the most distinct look uh, looking area of Argentina because just because of that blood red soil. It's also kind of hilly uh, and covered with those like uh, unique looking trees, uh, which kind of sets it apart from the rest of the country, which is pretty cool. All right, next up. Uh, 
Round four, we are in Brazil this time. Uh, we'd have this architecture with these uh, like red uh, turquoise roofs and it's kind of whitewashed or kind of colorful looking houses, kind of similar to what you see in like southern Portugal. Uh, it is dry around here. Um, so I definitely think in northeast we also have these uh, wooden branch uh, fences, which are common in the northeastern part of the country, which is generally the poorest. Um, and generally, if you have these like very bright looking red roofs, you are likely either on the northeast or at least relatively close to the eastern coast, um, because it's like the oldest colonization area. Um, I don't know how far inland we uh, might be. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go with, like northern Bahia. I'll, I'll see how, how far that takes me. Oh, not far, not far. It was Paraiba. Very cool. Yeah, don't really have anything, any like particular like closer metas here. I know, I know the area here, like between Tocantin and Bahia, is a little bit uh, more lush because it's got mountains. And then you transition here into like more tropical lushness, and you go down and you enter like a little bit more temperate looking but lush environment in like Minas Gerais and along the coast. So, yeah. So, I'm on to round five. Uh, not doing the greatest, but not, the, not absolutely terrible either. Okay, we got Chen Tu, uh, which should imply Mexico. It's on the Melania. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Corona beer, so it's Mexico. It is relatively lush. Uh, we have some mountains around here. Hello. Um, not really seeing anything that would imply like a particle. The Playa. Uh, and it's a political ad. Okay, with a Playa to the south, that should be obviously, the, uh, obviously somewhere on the coast. Um, I think Oaxaca and Guerrero would be a little bit more. A little bit drier looking, but hmm, I really hesitate to say where we are, uh, like around the, along this coast because I don't have a lot of experience with it. Uh, I think we are likely to be a little bit more to the north. We'll see. Oh, uh, just just a little bit more to the south. Should have should have stuck around in Guerrero. Yeah, Los Los Llanos, the demo volcan, very cool name. Yeah, generally, like uh, if you like on this southern uh, southern part of Mexico, uh, the coast is pretty lush and like covered in lush hills, but the inland is looking pretty dry looking, especially Michoacan and Guerrero. And then as, as you move out, move down to Oaxaca uh, and Chiapas, uh, you, you kind of have like this this kind of dryish, sherbery feeling surrounded by green hills. It's kind of kind of weird, uh, weird looking landscape. And then you, then you move north around Mexico City, and then it's kind of lush and like temperate again. And then you move north again, and it's dry and it's dry again. Mexico is weird. But yeah, at, le at least I got the relative layer apples. Okay, let's see. Uh, yep, yeah, embarrassing miss here. I just completely missed that ball. Uh, it's kind of a little, little bit washed out, but I probably should have just recognized that. So let's see. Okay, I'm I'm fourth. That's not horrible considering I'm, I'm, I'm ba how bad I am in uh, Latin America. Radu obviously in first. Gigi's SketchUp in second. Then we have Chavani, uh, then Hong, Krikmeister, Red Pork, Oliolu, Jessica, EC, Gabriela, Imon, Cesar, Bastop, Mephias, Taisto, Gio, Selex, Nobody, Onion, Riston, uh, IBM, Yankee, Tobias, Randy, Maxim, Gio Gustav, and Controlzi. GG's. So that was Latin America. And now let's move on to the moving challenge on Diver's World. Uh, I've been doing uh, a bit of like 25k attempts on stream recently. Uh, it's not been going super well, but uh, I've had a little bit bad luck with seats. But we'll, we'll see how, how I do here with three minutes. Uh, I don't expect to do 5k around obviously in three minutes, but uh, let's see how it goes. So, uh, well, <laughs> that's not a great start, is it? Okay, we got a white car. Uh, we should. This should be northern Chile, because I just how uh, because of have just how completely bone bone dry it is. Uh, I don't really, yeah, I don't really check the sun anymore. But it is indeed north. Uh, yeah, I'm not expecting to find anything out here uh, in three minutes. If I was smart, I would just uh, look for matching roads. But uh, I am not smart. So I will try to get somewhere. It's like thing is, I, I I don't know how far north or south we are. I, I definitely it's definitely northern. 
But Northern Chile is still pretty is still pretty big, so um it's one of those it's one of those small side roads for sure. It looks a little bit more a little bit more mountainous than normal. Uh this is I think like this is pointless. Should just go look at the map and try to look for a matching road. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't think I'm gonna get to like a big roads in one in a minute forty five. Uh, is it a C? I don't think it is. I think it's just I think just more more landscape or mountains and backgrounds. Yeah. Is it? Or it's a lake, I think. Or maybe maybe not. Hmm. I'm not really aware of any large lakes in northern Chile anyway. There might be some? I can't really I, I really can't tell. I, f I think it kinda looks like a lake. Is, is, are, are there any big lakes out here? There's this, uh which was uh Yeah, that doesn't it doesn't really work. Um and I think it's about it, so I think it's just, yeah, I, I think I'm just seeing things in that case. Uh, so we are going sort of north-south, kind of like bending a lot. Uh, it could be, be this place. Could be like this road, maybe. It, it is pretty mountainous. It is. It is very north. Um, also be this one, but I don't. I don't, I don't think so. Oh, there's so many potential roads here. I. So maybe here. Do you have some more mountain ridges to the north? There's like a there's like a valley here. In a, in any case, uh, it could be like this. I know we could also be like a lot further south. I'm just confused here. Well, let's see. Ah, a little bit for a little bit further south. Uh, in Ancalapo, okay, so if I if I had more time, I probably could have gotten to these villages here, but it's still, it's still quite a while before you reach a bigger road. Uh, so I don't feel too bad about that. I, I, I did get the orient road orientation a little bit wrong, though, because I was on those curves. Hmm. Well, it, it is not in Chile, so not much you can expect. Come on. Uh, oh boy, more <laughs> dirt roads. This time we are in Argentina, and we are uh, in the southern Patagonia somewhere. Uh, it is very, very dry, covered in shrubbery, and we have uh, these high mountains. So, we should be, should be relatively south. What do these tell me? Uh, not much, I think. Estancia es Minar. Oh, uh, can go that way, apparently. I'm gonna go look for a town name because there there are actually uh, signposts around this around these roads, believe it or not. Sometimes, oh, thinking of uh, La Haula. Uh, let's take a look. I think I'm really really bad at uh, latitude guessing in uh, in. Um, Argentina, so I could be very wrong about this, uh, like latitude wise, but La Haula, the Valubeca, Haula, La Haula, Haula, I think now we're reaching a point where it's a little bit too far north. Oh, this La Haula, okay, never mind. Uh, which is north, okay. Um, we are meeting a... There's no station here. Uh, going northeast. We're kind of meeting a road somewhere alongside here to La Haula. Uh, maybe if I, go, if I go further down this way, uh, I, I find the... I find the gas station. Uh, there's more. Uh, there's some curves here. I don't think that's very helpful. Let's see what it says. No, that's not really helpful. 
Okay, let's just, just kind of little tiny, tiny little, little hairpin. Maybe maybe the server isn't on a map. Although that would be weird. And now it's curving again, and it's curving again. Yeah, it just it just curves all the way down. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, maybe we're like here somewhere. Oh, this is weird. I feel like I'm missing something super obvious here. Maybe maybe we are actually somewhere here. It's just leading somewhere to how la how la. Um. There's this road going here. Oh. Oh, that's the road. God, I'm so blind. Hmm. Yeah, I'm 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 super blind. Uh, and that's the uh that's the uh that's the curves. These are uh, these ones are uh, are too sharp. Well, anyhow, this this lot closer than you should get in Argentina, so uh, I'll take it. Round three. Uh, this time we should actually be in Bulgaria, if I'm not mistaken. We have these tent -like, tent like roofs. Um. Uh, it just doesn't look Turkish. Also, we we got these like the rising sun gates, which are all over uh, the eastern block. I would love to find a major road here, and this sure isn't it. Nope. Um, okay, let's go back. Nope. Still no major road. Uh. These Bulgarian villages can be a little bit of a nightmare because they can be very big. Oh, that's major road. Okay. Uh, now we just need to reach the end of the end of the village. And kind of, maybe kind of hope for a few better road signs. Uh, this mountain is to the north, so we are. Uh, so we are in the maybe in the sort of central valley. Uh, oh, there's a track on no, no road sign. But there we go. And uh, is this right? Okay. Locos, uh, Locorsko. Um, Locorsko is a little bit away. Maybe you have a bit bigger, big, uh, better sign uh, a little bit farther away. Uh, Chipinci, okay. Chipinci, Locorsko. Oh, and here's a big road. That's good. And Chen 4, nice. Um, uh, Let's try to find uh, better road signs here. I think it's our, that's gonna say the river. Yeah, Chipinci. Um, are there really no no better road signs here? Oh, here here's one. Okay, uh, Culata Calotina on the eighth and the eighth uh, E eighty. Okay. Uh, so where's I think we are somewhere around here. Is he seven? Six, the eighty-seven, ninety-three, the eighty-five, the eight, the eight, eight, eight. We are somewhere around here, I think. Kepinski, Kovitsa, Tatarevo. Kokonitsa, Kulata and Kulata and Kalotina. Ah, God, I just don't see it. I'm really slow. Ah, it's frustrating. Yeah, I just don't see it. Oh, it's all the way up there. God, I didn't look up all the way up there. Giovanni, obviously, near 5k. Ah. Yeah, I probably should have checked the orientation of the main roads. Uh, would have been helpful. Hmm. Well, what can you do? Uh, round five is somewhere in uh, I think BC in Canada. It is kind of nice mountains. Could be it could be America as well though. Uh, we get the Grand Forks and Rock Creek. Uh, the Free B. I don't recognize that crest. Grand Forks and Rock Creek. I don't recognize either of those, to be honest. What's this say? Chain of area. Chain up area, okay. 
freebie shouldn't be that hard to find. Uh, wildfire prevention, that's, that's sure helpful in this area. Hmm. Rock Creek and Grand Forks. I'm I'm just confused. I feel, I feel like I'm pretty familiar with uh, with the with BC, but uh, we're assuming this is BC. Uh, but I've never heard of either of those uh, those towns. Kind of looks like the area in like Kelovna. Um, no, let's go. Let's go going the other way. If I can see anything, what's this say? Uh, trail and Salmo. Okay, I, I needed that. Okay, trail. I know. I know where it is. Uh, this trail. This three B. Uh, so trail is north. Uh, north seventeen kilometers. Um. And by north, I think, in like this direction. Yeah, because the free P ends at trail, so it must be mm, weird though. I think I'm just dumb. Okay, there's a just Grand Forks. Oh, there's a free B. Okay. Although we are going north to trail, so I think we might might just be here. Okay, so it's a little bit confusing, but I, I, I think we can handle it. Uh, what's this town called? Or this road? King George something. Uh, swipe Alpine in. Record Creek, Patterson, King George, King George Park. And there's a small road coming up here somewhere. Or is there? Oh, oh. I guess. It was, oh, it was just a different branch of uh, King Church Park. Oh, so fuck, so fuck, Kate. Uh, I'll take that. Okay, uh, around five, and we are in uh, somewhere inland, northern Australia, if I'm not mistaken. We have these big mountains, kind of like tropical feel. Uh, so it should be like inland Queensland, I think. Um. You get, uh, you get these high, uh, like high mountain, get this high mountain chain uh, on the east coast of Australia, and yeah, definitely looks very warm. So I don't think it's like, oh, uh, it's like uh, Victoria or even New South Wales. Uh, but also inland Queensland is pretty empty, so it could could take a while before we find any information out here. Uh, this road is going in north, basically east east west. Curving towards the north. Okay, so roughly north south. Could take a while. We do have better or crest area. Doubt that's gonna be relevant. Uh, I think it's just advertising the rest area once again. Yeah. Very popular road here. Interesting, like a lot of the, uh, like a lot of the uh, Australian backroads are very deserted, so we might not be that far away from civilizations after all. If I don't find anything in just a little bit, I'm just I'm, I'm turning away. Okay, Meriwa Willy Wally. Uh, the only bit of information you've gotten so far. Uh, is not great. Marywa and Willy Wally. This doesn't sound. This still sound like weird, like real names. But uh, I'll take their word for it. Marywa, Willy Wally. I think I'm going a bit too. Uh, a bit too. Uh, humid up there. Or maybe our computer is just very small. It's possible as well. It could also be like here. Yeah, I don't see the. Uh, I don't see this anywhere. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go the other way. Uh, I got thirty minute. I got thirty seconds though. Uh, this, isn't, this isn't looking good. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm sticking here, or here. We're halfway between uh, Bisbon and Rockhampton. Maybe, maybe I should go a little bit further north, but it's too late for that. Let's go for a bit further north. I don't know. I don't know if those were real towns or just places of rest names. Of rest stops, I should really say. So how, how, how off was I? I'm pretty confident it, it, it's somewhere in Queensland. I'll say that much. Nope. And I was going to be wrong, obviously, because it's Australia, and Australia hits me. Uh, oh, there's Mariwa, yeah. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised. It looked that warm, like, in, in New South Wales. I'm generally used to used to it see, uh, being, like, uh, that, that, like, tropical kind of looking uh, up in Queensland. So that's why I, that's why I was convinced it was there. Uh, but I guess Gen 4 also, uh, also uh, kind of modifies things a little bit. Interesting. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't, uh, didn't expect it to be that far south. That's for sure. Oh, and they're, they're not going to be very far down. Uh, oh, Giovanni obviously uh, 5k'd Madman. Well, GG's. Um, oh, and nobody almost also getting really close. I wonder if I missed anything there. If I, if my, if my assumptions and uh, map, uh, map scrolling were just too bad. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, Giovanni, got nobody, Cesar, then me, then Hong, Onion, Resident, Chio, Yankee, Control, Testo, Selex, Crickmeister, Tobias, Maxim, Redborg, Mafias, Ketchup, Gio Gustav, Peliolu, Ethos, Nicola, Zizu, Roscoe, Lauri, and Tereni. Uh, yeah, GG's. Unfortunately, a couple of, a couple of screw-ups today, but uh, I, think, I think the seats were still pretty good. So, yeah, thank you, and I'll try not to take uh, two weeks uh, next time. Uh, yeah, see ya. Uh, no, oh, oh, sorry, yeah, I'll post the next links in the description as always. Yeah, see ya.